excited for this video because I can show you guys how electricity affects our hair. Oh my goodness, I know it sounds so bizarre, but it's the bizarre things that have hidden causes that lead to visible issues. So stay tuned. Okay, so when it comes to our hair, we know it very well as the medulla, the cortex, and the cuticle. And of course, there's a bunch of amazing proteins and lipids and oil that make up our hair for what it is. Now, on the flip side, the charges of our hair plays a huge role. Not only the charge of our hair, but the charge of the ingredients and the products that we use have a huge effect on the results that we receive from a particular product. So I'm not gonna go super deep into like the physics of negative and positive charges, but our hair naturally has negative charges. Now, if a cuticle is severely damaged, like in certain spots where there's like missing pieces of the cuticle, those spots will have even more negative charges within that particular damaged spot of the cuticle. Now, for hair that is severely negatively charged, you'll know it because number one, your hair will feel very dull and it will feel very stripped, it will feel very dry and even very frizzy. You can also experience this when you have a very harsh shampoo, like you just shampooed your hair and your hair just feels really stripped. That's because the negative charges of your hair are highly increased. When it comes to our products that we use, there are ingredients within the formulations that we use on a daily basis that also have charges within them as well. So there are non-ionic, anionic, cationic, and amphoteric. Now, non-ionic ingredients are pretty much ingredients that do not have a positive or negative charge. They pretty much have no charge at all. Now, a common ingredient like this would be something like cetyl alcohol or cetyl alcohol. And we use this in formulations to thicken the formula, but also help to soften the hair as well. And then you have anionic ingredients. Typically, these are gonna be your cleansing surfactants like sodium little sulfate. Now these are the ones that help to remove dirt and oil and grease off of the scalp to pretty much give you cleaner hair and a cleaner scalp. Now the downside with this is that, you know, they can be kind of harsh because of the fact that anionic molecules or anionic ingredients tend to be straight up negative charges. So when you add negative charge ingredients onto already negatively charged hair, you're going to get even more negatively charged uh, environment going on with the slipping of the cuticles, dryness, all the negative things that you probably do not want, okay? And then next, you have cationic, which happens to be one of my favorite ingredients. Now, these are positively charged ingredients. These can be things like Behendra ammonium methyl sulfate, uh, polyquaternarium 10. These are cationic film formers that they come into contact with the hair like a magnet, and they help to seal the cuticle, make it more manageable, and help with detangling as well. And then last but not least, you have amphoteric ingredients. These are ingredients that have a positive and a negative charge as well. A common ingredient is cocoa meat or cocoa betaine. This is a very gentle cleansing surfactant. It cleanses very well, probably not as well as sodium lauryl sulfate, but it still does a great job. And it even has a little bit of conditioning property because of that positive charge on it. Now, with all of that being said, to really lower the negative charge on your hair so that it's not so high, so it's more manageable, more softer, your hair is more sealed, all the wonderful things, I want you guys to start looking at cationic film formers. These are very, very unique ingredients because number one, they're positively charged. They're going to act as magnets to your hair to seal your cuticle, make it much more softer, and actually increase the tangling in the shower and just even when you're moisturizing your hair as well. On the other side, they are healthy film formers, okay? Film formers I know have gotten such a bad rep in the natural hair care community, but film formers are the things that make your hair feel amazing. And I wanna give you guys a list of cationic film formers that I recommend. You can look for these in conditioners and deep conditioners, especially after shampooing your hair. When your hair feels like a little strip, these are great ingredients to look for. So here is my list. Of course, I have the hindra ammonium methyl sulfate, centrum ammonium chloride, amodimethicone, and a few others here that I definitely, definitely recommend. So screenshot this if you need to. I'll have a list below for you also in the description box to just have. But have these on hand, especially if you're looking for a deep conditioner or even a conditioner or even a leave-in conditioner as well. 
All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new. That is the goal of all of these videos. Even if you just learn one thing in this video, that makes me happy that you can apply to your hair care regimen and journey, okay? Of course, I have a question for you. We are going to the Maldives, okay? We are at the airport, suitcase, full of hair care products, all right? We got our shampoo, we got our, you know, our, our, our conditioner, but for some reason, we packed like five different conditioners. I don't know why we did what we did. And TSA is like, man, you can only bring one conditioner. You can't bring all these five of them. What one conditioner are you bringing with us to our trip to the Maldives? Comment below, make sure it's a good one because you know, we might have to share. I mean, we might have to share this conditioner on over. So make sure it's a good one, comment below. I cannot wait to see your responses and I look forward to joining the conversation with you. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at charmy369 for some amazing curly chemistry content and amazing stories as well. Also, be sure to check out the Curly Girls Got to Hair Care and Greens if you have not done so already. I have the link below for you to check out. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, you can work with me one-on-one -on -one, no matter where you are in the journey. I am here to help. And I'll also have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.